Our offensive line, of course, is coached by Randy Clements, and Randy does a super job with them. And, and these guys, you know, to have a great offensive football team, you have to have a great offensive line. Everything starts up front, and we have a saying, you know, as they go, we go. I mean, as our offensive line plays, that's how good we're going to be offensively. And uh, this year, they really grew up as a unit. They really played hard together. And uh, I don't think we could ask any more out of anybody on our football team to do the things that they had to do for us because they have to pass block, they have to run block. Uh, a lot of times they don't even get to huddle. And, and they really did a great job for us, and they were very instrumental in our success. Our, you know, our defensive line this year uh, started one senior and uh, three underclassmen. Uh, I think they got better every football game uh, that we played. They got better every practice that we played. They played with great intensity. Uh, you know, the, the young men just constantly amazed me, uh, you know, with their passion for the game and how hard they wanted to play. And they continually, you know, we, we try to be a little more forcing unit this year. Yard line, Gidry 
on a keeper. He'll go forward for one yard. Center straight drop, looking to throw. Big rush on top of him. He's sacked all the way back at the 25-yard line. Got him. Hand off over the left side is Harris, and he's hitting oh, immediately oh, oh, oh. by Craig Park. Standing next to him, straight drop for Howard, looking to set up the screen. He's going to be hammered. Three, at... two. Hand off over the left side. Harmon obliterates Harris. <laughs> Rourke in some trouble. Escapes for one man, but not the second. Gordon Carroll. Thompson. Hand off over the left side. That's Thompson. He stood up. He won't get in. Him looking to set up the screen. He's in some trouble. He's flushed to the outside. He's at the 15. Now he's sacked. Left side is Rankin. Coming to the near side on a shake and bake move is the quarterback, and he stopped. Near side, one to the far side. McNutt in all kinds of trouble. Check that Chandler. Chandler will be sacked. The quarterback all the way back in the 25. It looked like a nice holy field fight. I mean, they were just slugging at each other, just trying to get position. You know, one of Well, our fullbacks in our offensive scheme, you know, are sometimes a, a, a position that doesn't get a lot of notoriety or doesn't get, you know, a lot of the publicity. But they're a, a, a very integral part of our offense because they have to be prepared to do anything in any situation. We expect them to be able to make a first down when it's third and one or fourth and one, but then we also expect them to, be go, to go out and catch a, you know, a big pass. But the thing that I think these guys really did for us this year was their blocking ability. I mean, this is probably uh, the best blocking fullbacks that we've had in quite a while. And, and the thing that I was so proud of this year is that the unselfishness that they displayed for our team. And to have a successful team, you have to have unselfish people that fill a role. And, and I think our fullbacks were a living example of that this year. I thought our linebackers were outstanding. You know, the, uh, what, what you look for in your linebackers, first of all, is you look for ability to get to the ball. And, and when they get to the ball, you want them to get to the ball naturally in a bad mood.
Well, I, you know, of course, our running backs are, uh, once again, multi-talented people. And uh, Coach Montgomery coaches our running backs and our quarterbacks, and uh, he does an outstanding job. And, you know, in our, in our scheme of things, offensively, our running back has got to be a, a quick slash runner, but then he's also got to be a power runner. He's also going to be able to catch the football. And, you know, the people that we played at that position this year did a great job for us. I think we probably rushed more this year than what we've rushed in a long time at that position. And I think all that's attributable to – you know, to our passing game, to our offensive line, and to our great fullbacks blocking ahead. Plus, you know, you've got to have a person back there that really does a great job of toting the mail in certain situations, and we had that this year. comes in motion, play action, now the handoff to Hunter, great running room, 20, 15, makes the move to the 10, to the 5, to the 3 yard line. Fourth and two, Browse under center, running the option, giving the ball, now pitches out to right, he's got the first down, cuts back, 45, 40, he's got no one to beat, 30, 20, 10, 5, back to back touchdown. Snap back, running the option to the near side, Luger pitches out to Hunter, to the 10, to the 5, he gets the corner, touchdown. Evett is under center. Hand off to Wright, Wright sweeping, trying to get to the outside, cuts back, gets to the goal line, touchdown, Kevin Wright. On a draw play, gets the ball to Hunter, trying to get to the outside, he does, 30, gets the corner, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, tight rope walking. Inside trap, hand off to Cardinals, good running room, cuts back to the 40, down to the 45, tries to get to the sideline, he does, across the 50, 45, 40, trying to get on the far sideline, 30, 25, 20, Cardinals gonna go, just like that. Snap back, inside trap, gives the ball to Hunter, finds a seam, 40, 45 at the 50, cuts across 45, 40, splits the defenders, and is tackled at the 28-yard line. Pitch to the near side, cutting up at the 10, down to the 5, across for the score, touchdown. Two receivers near side, pitch to the far side, Hunter trying to get to the corner, he does, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, will he score? Yes, 10, 5, touchdown. Far side, Cardwell, Cardwell makes one man miss, a 40, inside the 35, 30, 25, 20, 20, one man to beat. To him, inside trap, handoff, big running room, 30 across the 35, 40, out to the 45, Hunter across midfield, down to the 45 yard line of the Dragon. Hunter finds running room, he gets across the 45, bounces out across midfield, 45, down to the 40, down to the 35, makes another man miss, 30, 25, 20, he'll go. Running the option, inside trap to Hunter, Hunter across the 45, makes the move, 40, inside the 35, down to the 30 to the 29 yard. Luker on the inside trap, giving the ball to Carwell. Carwell finds some running room after the 10. He escapes. 15, 20, he may go. 30, 40, makes a cut back at the 50. Now he's in some traffic. 40, makes a move. 30, run out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Snap back, giving the ball straight ahead to Hunter. Finds the team across midfield. 45, 40, 35, 30, Hunter inside the 20 to the 15. 10, 5, touchdown. Put a bow on it because this present may be coming home. Inside handoff over left tackle. Hunter, big running room, 25, 30, across the 35, 40. He'll split the defenders. He'll go. He's gone. He'll go. 81 yards, Zach Hunter. I, 
I was really proud of our of our defensive backs. Of course, that's the position I coach, so I, I would be very very proud of them, like I am every other aspect of the defense. But our our defensive backs are really physical football players. Uh, the, you know, the common characteristics they have: they all can run, and uh, they all hit. Excellent. They took great pride in the fact that uh, you know people didn't complete passes against us. And we, you know, we talked about all spring. Every incompletion is a victory, and uh, that's 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 the way they perceived the game. That's the way they played the game. You know. Straight drop for Williams. Williams looking in the near side flats. Has his receiver. It's drilled and then center. Play action. Rolling to the far side. Tibbet looking to throw. He's in some trouble. Throw across the middle. Stocked away. A great play by Brady Gunn. Love is under center. Play action. Rolling to the near side. Throwing out the flats. Has a receiver. It's picked off and then dropped. Oh, on the play. Back behind him is Davis. Straight drop for Clifton. Setting up. Looking to throw out in the flats. It's knocked away. A great defensive play. Setting up, throwing, looking to throw still, now throwing the deep ball for an intended receiver. It's great defense downfield. We're looking to throw. He'll throw the deep far ball on the far sideline. It's up and tipped away by Bryles. What a great defensive play by Kendall Bryles. Williams straight back, setting up, looking to throw the deep foul pattern thrown up. It's intercepted. Play action, Freeman setting up, looking to throw the deep ball across the middle. Has a receiver. It's up and knocked away. What a great defensive play was made by Gunn is going to throw. He's throwing the deep ball on the sideline. It's over the throw of the intended receiver, Kendall. 
Williams, straight drop, throwing across the middle, has an open receiver, it's dropped, and then intercepted, picked off by the Yellow Jackets. Throwing the deep ball on the near sideline, it's up for grabs, it's picked off, gun, going the other way, 45-50, 45-40 of Granberry, it's at the 35 to the 30 to the 26 yard. Still looking, throwing the deep ball, way downfield, it's up, Bryles picks it off, coming the other way, 45-40, tries to get to the sideline, 30-25 Behind him, straight drop, looking to throw, in some trouble, throwing the deep ball on the far side on it for grabs. It's picked off by Gunn, going the other way. Flag drop for Chandler, looking to throw, throwing deep ball on the near sideline. It's up and picked off. What a great pick by Kendall Brails in the 12 yard. Logan under center, setting up, looking to throw. Now throwing back Cumbie Way. Flags are down. Deep pattern is up and it's intercepted. The ball is intercepted by Gunn. Straight drop, pump fake, looking to throw the deep ball. He's hammer when he lets it go. This one's up for grabs. It's picked off. Kendall Brown picks it off at the 49 yard line of Going the quick pattern. It's up. It's picked off by Brown's. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Kendall Brown's touchdown. You know, I think. I one of the hallmarks of our defense is going to be game tackling. We're going to get to the football, and we're going to have 11 guys trying to get to the football, and we take great pride in that. thing that, that really made us a great football team this year was that we had great special teams. I mean, we had people that, that took care of their business, you know, lived through their roles and did great, a great job of fulfilling their roles in our special teams from everybody on the field in each, in each situation that it really made us a complete football team because we did not have a weakness in our football team. And a lot of times when you evaluate a team, you can find weaknesses. Well, you know, we were so, so strong in the special team areas and then we had a good offense and a good defense that we had a complete football team. And uh, our special teams this year, I believe, I believe that was one of the things that really set us apart from a lot of other teams that we played.
four yard attempt coming from Jada. The snap back, the hold down, the kick is on the way. It's got enough. If it's straight, it is good. From 44 yards, JW Bourne connects. Hill has the snap. Steed awaits the hold. Snap back, hold down, kick is on the way. It's got enough boot. If it's straight, it is up, and it is good. From 47 yards, JW Bourne puts the jackets on the board. How you doing, Sarge? Okay, folks, what'll it be? What would you like, sweetheart? A Pepsi, please. Sorry, we only have Coke. Now nah, you've done it. You're sorry? Not half as sorry as you're gonna be. I ordered a Pepsi, pal. She's got a mind of her own. What's with this guy? Look, I just thought... You thought? What you really thought was that I don't know the difference between Pepsi and a Coke, right? Here's your Pepsi. Thank you. Mmm. Kids say the darndest things. What are you looking at? I like this place. Mountain Dew, a smooth, one-of-a-kind blend of citrus flavor. Mountain Dew quenches your thirst like no other. One taste and you'll agree, it's dew ripping. Drink Mountain Dew and you'll discover what's inside quenches like no other. A blend of citrus just for you, so smooth yeah. it goes down easy to... Neato! That's a classic. Well, you know, the way we try to play offensive football, of course, Brad, you know, we're going to try to have fun. You know, we're going to try to have fun on the offensive side of the ball, you know, plus create problems for the opposing defense. And, you know, the thing that we want to do, we want to create mismatches. We want to uh, do the unexpected. I believe is that, you know, when people try to defend us, they don't know which we're going to do, when we're going to do it. And, uh, I, you know, I hope we created a lot of problems for defenses this year because that's what an offense is supposed to do.
Kentucky. Snap back to Luker, setting up, looking to throw. Has a deep open receiver. It's Abbott. 5, 20, 15, 10, 5. He'll score. Yes, touchdown. Another... Coming to the near side. Setting up, looking to throw. Has an open receiver. It's Boren. Caught. Touchdown. J.W. Boren gets the catch. To the four side, one receiver near side. Luker throwing the deep fake pattern for Steed up in the corner. Caught. Is he in? Touchdown. Just got a foot in him. Running the option near side. Pitches to Evett. Evett looking to throw. Throwing the deep ball on the far sideline. Has Cardwell caught. Touchdown. Two Cardwell. Check that. That's Evett. Evett is running the give and go. He will pitch out to Cardwell. Takes a great pitch. 45, 50, 40, 30. No one will catch Cardwell. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Here's Steed. Luker setting up. Looking to throw across the middle. Has Combs. Great catch. He gets to the one yard line. He's very close. Does he get in? No signal. Yes. Touchdown, A.B. Combs. Under center, play action, rolling to the near side. He's in some trouble. He's deep in the backfield. Throws for the goal line. Caught, T.J. Douglas, touchdown. Play action, Luker setting up. Looking, still looking. Now throwing the deep ball, trying to get it to O'Neal. It's caught. Touchdown, Toby O'Neal. What a great diving catch across the goal. Big rush coming right up the middle. Luker in trouble. He'll try to escape. Now he throws the deep ball. Has it open. Evan caught. Bronco territory, 40, 35, 30. Trying to get to the far side. 20, 15, 10, 5. Escapes for Morgan. Touchdown. Play action, setting up, looking to throw across the middle, has an open receiver, caught, touchdown, Toby O'Neill. Side, big rush, Luker throwing quickly to Douglas, he catches at the five, touchdown, T.J. Douglas. Side, Luker setting up, looking to throw, still looking, still looking, now throws the deep ball, has Combs at the 20, catch, 15, 10, to the five, escapes, touchdown, A.B. Combs. Luker under center, play action, rolling out, still looking, in some trouble, will now throw back in the end zone, Combs, caught, touchdown. Stop for Luker, throwing on the flats, has Cargill, 30, 35 across the 30, cuts up 45, 50, he will score on the first play Looking to throw across the middle, has a receiver, Combs, great catch, 25, a great move in the 20, 15, 10, down to the 7, to the 6, to the 5, to the 4, to the 2, A.B. Combs. Luker rolling out, has got a lot of open territory, but he throws the deep ball, has Cargill, 20, to the 15, 10, knocked off his feet at the 6 yard line. Looking out the flats, Luker looking to throw, has an open receiver, Combs at the 50, great catch, 45, cuts back 40, a dive down to the 30. The near side as he rolls to the near side, setting up, throwing out the flats, has Carwell, one-handed catch, and what a catch! Oh man, the magician! Throw. Throwing across the middle, has O'Neal, caught, 25, 30, to the outside, O'Neal, 40, he may go, 50, to the 40, he's being caught, 35, 30, 25, 20, oh, he's tackled at the 20. Making on the inside trap, Luker now looking to throw the deep ball, has Combs open, clearing at the 50, caught, 40, 30, tackle at the 29 yard. To the near side, play action, Luker setting up, looking to throw, has the deep ball, has Carwell open, 30, 25, 20, tackle at the 14 yard line. Luker is in shotgun, rolling to the near side and setting up, looking to throw, throwing the deep ball, has open, Evan, caught, touchdown. Luker rolling, setting up, throwing out the flats, has Carwell open, caught, touchdown, back in the end zone. How easy was that? Looking at throw. A little bit of pressure. Now he throws deep. He has Evan across the middle. Five, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Chris Evan will score. This bringing heat straight up the middle. Look through the flat. Gets to the car. Gets the first down. Great move. Back to the point. Gets to the sideline. 15. Great block. Five to the goal line. Touchdown. What a great block from KCC. Setting up in the pocket. Looking, looking. Throwing the deep ball. Has an open receiver. It's Evan at the 15, the 10, 5. Luker setting up, looking to throw the deep ball, has Carvel at the 10, 5, touchdown! What a threaded throw by Luker! Snap back to Luker and shotgun, trips to the near side, looking to throw the deep ball, has Evan open, clearing at the 5, touchdown! Going out in the flats, finds Carwell. Carwell almost gets brought down, the escapes, 10 to the 15, breaks out 20, 25, 30, it's a foot race, 40, 45, 50, no one's going to catch him! Snap back to him, setting up in the pocket, throwing the deep ball to the far side, and Carvel looking for it, makes the catch! Straight drop for Luker, throwing, pump fake across the middle, Cardwell cut, touchdown! What a great catch! Going back behind him for Rosses, now Luker on the quick hitter to Cardwell, big runner, and 35-30, will he split the defenders? He will! He'll go for the touchdown! Luker setting up, still looking, now throwing the deep ball, has Combs deep, down the field, it's Cardwell though, 10, 5, 13. Luker throwing the quick hitter to Cardwell, at the 5, makes a move, gets to the goal line, touchdown! Oh, what a move by Cardwell, he took the quick hitter, big two men miss him inside the 5. Going to the near side, Luker setting up. He's in some trouble, but now we'll throw the deep ball. Has Carvel open at the five, touchdown! Inside trap fake. Now Luker looking to throw the deep ball open. Has Carvel caught, 45, 40, he's gone! 30, 20, 10, see you later, baby!
There's no doubt the biggest play of the season was a fourth down play against uh, South Lake Carroll. You know, the season was on the line. Uh, you know, in every football player's career and every football player's life, there comes a time when everything that you've worked for your whole life is on the line. And great football players make great football plays when that much is on the line. And, uh, you know, I thought our defense made a great stand and stood up. Very confident. I tell you the thing that really saved us, and of course, you know, we're talking about the play. You know, when we get the ball against South Lake Carroll, the minute 35 left in the game, and you know, no timeouts from our own 17. The thing that, that we felt pretty good about was that we felt like for sure that they were going to bring pressure on us initially. So we get the good middle screen call that almost has a chance to pop it, and really that's the first time that we had executed that well all year. And that's just players rising up, you know, in certain situations. They come with the blitz. Everybody's coming. They set up the screen. The middle field set up perfectly. 25 to the 30. Carville 35 back to the 38 yard line. A huge pick up to the 39. You know, then we get the, the little quick out out there to get us around midfield. Then you got a chance to go win the game. Luker in shotgun coming back to him once again. Throwing out the flats. Finds an open receiver, oh. Steed. And he snap back to Luker. Once again, here comes the blitz. Luker throwing the deep ball. Has an open receiver. Carville 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Oh. Tony Cardinal, the play will go. 51 yards, and Stephenville has struck back at the 104 mark on the strike from Luker to Cardinal. Oh, baby. Stephenville on top, 30 to 28. The extra point upcoming, and look at the gloom and doom on the faces of the South Lake Carroll coaching staff sitting next to us. Oh, baby, what a play. Cody Cardwell would not be. It was a great win for our program, and you know I would rank it as one of the top two or three victories of all time in Stephenville High School history, at least the last 11 years. Excitement is something that's contagious, and every year is different, and uh, there, there are a jillion different things to get excited about during the football season. I mean, when we scored uh, against South Lake Carroll, you know, the, the winning touchdown, well, uh, if you'd got a picture of me, I was running up and down, acting like I was 15 years old, screaming and hollering and jumping. And in fact, I was sore. The, the next Sunday we came up here, I told him I, I must have hurt myself jumping so much.
our fans are talked about statewide. I mean, they're just, uh, to me and to our football program and to our community, I mean, they're, they're kind of, they kind of carry the flag for us. I mean, they, they lead the way. And they're the, when we get to the stadium, they're there. You know, we come out of the tunnel, I mean, they're there in force. And it's just, it's something that I don't, I don't think you can measure. I don't, I don't know how you could go to a football game and have the support uh, that we have and not be able to appreciate it at the level that we appreciate it. And uh, without a doubt, our, our fans are the number one fans in the state of Texas. You become a football team, whether they're successful or not. You know, we, we were fortunate enough to be very, very successful this year. A football team, the staff, uh, you become a family. You spend more time with those football players and more time with your fellow coaches than, than you do your family. So, you know, there's this enormous bonding that goes on during the season that it's hard to describe to outsiders. Uh, there's a feeling of love, uh, you know, a feeling you, you shared your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations uh, with everybody that's part of that bonding program, whether you're talking about the trainers or, or the rest of the coaches or, or your football team. I mean, we become one whole family. And, and, and when you get that feeling, that love for each other and that bond you have for each other, then you're not ever going to let, you're not ever going to forget it. You're going to know that for the rest of your life, that uh, uh, for that particular year, those, those, those young men that shared that dream with you and the coaches that shared it with you, uh, that's going to be irreplaceable, something that can never, ever uh, be taken away from you, something that can never, ever be replaced.